Is it like okay sometimes? No, never. Okay, I don't think this guy really played Valorant. Um, ever. Is it better to like, like, use your wrist or your arm when it comes to aiming? Uh, only the wrist. Only the wrist. Only. Never move your arms. What? <laughs> Wait, one last question. Yes. Why did you copy off me? Yo, so I've been aim coaching for a living for about more than a year. Hello everyone, I've been aim coaching people for a living for about five minutes. There's only so many times I can even edit that, so the scammer ripped my aim coaching service top to bottom and lied about his experiences to emulate mine. Well, not every experience. I'm not gonna doubt that he has 5,000 hours in Arma. Why the Arma hours? Why'd you put the Arma hours? I'm curious. Why, why not? Why not? What does that have to do with aiming? Yeah, not. It's a it's a shooter game. You really think you're gonna run? <laughs> By the way, notice how his premium price is a lot lower than mine, because my premium price is supposed to be a donation. But this guy realized he wasn't getting enough donations, so he lowered his price. What a f***ing scumbag! You're not supposed to expect it, you little f***ing. Sh Okay, sorry, sorry. Let's keep on going. Nowadays, you know, my service obviously evolved a lot and I learned so much more. And now since I'm done with college, I now offer private coaching as well. And just like my other aim coaching videos, this is going to be kind of educational, but I want to throw some bullshit around just to keep it fun, you know? But I'm going to go incognito, meaning I will pretend to be a noob who knows absolutely nothing about aiming. He won't even know that he's going to be coaching the very guy he copied his service off of. Knowing that this has to do with Fiverr, I asked Fiverr if I have their consent to make a video about this. And Fiverr gave me the greenest green light. Like, I thought that they would just be like, well, just don't do it. But they just gave me the full go. However, I'm still going to say a few things. Please, in no circumstance, please please. Please, please do not harass this guy and do not target any abuse towards this man. Even though, yes, he did copy, <laughs> fr frankly, everything, but I still don't want anyone to target him at all. Cancel culture and witch hunting is a very slippery slope, so I do not want to uh, have that happen upon him. And anyone who does target or harass this man, I am in no shape at all going to support that and I will condemn those actions. During the coaching, I'm going to ask him some questions where if he answers correctly, I'll point it out. But if there's something I disagree with, I will pause the video and explain my reasoning. Is it better to like, like use your wrist or your arm? when it comes to aiming uh, only the wrist only the wrist only never move your arms what <laughs> it'll also be kind of useful for you guys as well if you if you want to learn a thing or two about some coaching or aim coaching, I guess. But before that, let's go through some little bit of quick history, shall we? So around February, I was in college for economics in the mathematical side of it. My household came from, uh, let's say, a uh, pretty bad financial history to the point where there was no option but to build my own credit as I had no one to co-sign my student loans. And even if I were to try, their financial history was by far not good enough to even be accepted as co-signers. So I had to become financially independent at the age of 16. Opening my own credit card, taking out my own loans very high interest rate but we got that taken care of so i started hustling and i thought why not try fiverr since i coached some people in the past and had a background to support it there was a gap in the market for aim coaches so i f went for it Shit started growing fast the service grew a lot faster than i expected and i was starred in some videos with voice repeat agent gumbly and many other awesome content creators on youtube i have written some contracts to help a few teams a few websites and even players who competed in international tournaments for overwatch csgo valorant rainbow six siege you know what i mean i even got written in france's biggest tech magazine and i'm still extremely thankful to this day for everyone who supported me and so i had to start an academy to help me organize students at a logistical level which is by the way after some pretty good growth i saw some people on fiverr doing the same thing but i really didn't mind i saw it as more of a logistical benefit not really a hey little fag you, you want to join my temple of shaolin monks who have never left their basement in five years the world was built off of copying each other just not as blatant as this one guy which brings me to him uh, a couple students brought to my attention that this guy quite literally copy pasted my service onto his page a couple people wanted to confront him about it but i shut that down quick i thought that this guy was going to be you know kind of reasonable so i thought you know why not just talk to him 
about it civilly. I messaged him saying, Hey man, what's up? Just got a few questions about your Valorant gig. Yes, of course. I'm curious on why your bio and your gig are very similar to mine. Maybe a coincidence? Yes, maybe. I don't know. Do you want to order or what? Who the f*** is this guy? So I waited quite a bit of time. Honestly, kind of close to one to two years for this. As per Fiverr's terms of service, I'm not allowed to create multiple accounts. So I asked a friend of mine to order for me instead and to ask him if it's okay for him to place the order for me. Yo, you down to like message this guy for me? Fiverr doesn't really allow second accounts. Uh, hey, hey sir. <laughs> Yeah, okay, so all I need is your social security card and uh, we should be set. My friend types, hey, I was wondering if you're still aim coaching. Hi, hat connoisseur. <laughs> Thanks for contacting me. Yes, yeah, sure, I am still coaching. I would be very interested in working with you on this project. Thanks, Blue Eye One. So I wanted to purchase this service for a friend whose birthday's coming up. Is it okay I purchase this for him? By the way, that is not a lie. My birthday is February 20th. It's more like a lawyer type thing, you know? <laughs> yes, of course. But sir, can you contact me on Discord first? And then his Discord. And which package would you take for your friend, sir? I would like to take the one that's $25. Ah, okay. So you can add me on Discord, please, or give me your DC name. Yeah, I just got my friend to make a Discord since he's very new to PC stuff. And here is my Discord. It's, yo, it's so, yo, it's like, this is like crafted in the workshop to be as newbie as possible. Crafted, I tell you. Ah, okay, this is, you know, all good. Is this your friend or your Discord? Added you. This is my friend's Discord. Ah, I need yours, ha ha ha. This is for my friend, not me. This guy really wants to go to Discord. Uh, let's see why. Hey, sir. When will you be ready for session? I work very early, from Saturday to Wednesday. I can do Friday, though. I have good idea for us both. So before you purchase on Fiverr, you can send me money on PayPal without fees. If you agree with that, if not, go for Fiverr then. We have to pay fees and me too, so yeah. That sounds very shady. That sounds like he wants us to pay him both on Fiverr and on PayPal. But I got my buddy to pay 25 on Fiverr. Just, I want to stay within the terms and conditions. I'm off work at 5 p.m. on Friday. I really didn't want to tell him my time zone because I didn't want to seem like I know what I'm talking about. But this guy just says, okay. <laughs> and oh boy, let's get to the session. I can't wait. I can't wait. And again, you know, every time I ask him a question and I agree or disagree, I'll pause the video and respond. <coughs> uh, hello? Hello. Hi. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of new to Valorant. I haven't really... Made that much, but uh, what well, rank am I? No, the, uh, your, your friend. Um, they're on like platinum. It's pretty high. I can't. I feel like I'm better than what my rank is. Do, what? You, do you have aim lips or something? Covex, but don't train too much in aim lips or okay. train more in variant. So this guy's actually very right on this one. I, I know, shocking. <laughs> I mean, I've been quoted saying that every single time people ask me about how much they should train in aim labs versus in game. So I'm not sure that he's getting this information just from my videos or even in my server, but I'm not going to assume. Training in aim labs can only limit yourself to just learning about how to aim with your crosshair, right? That honestly goes for any type of aim trainer. See, aim trainers help you in reviewing the crosshair aiming skills needed in your typical FPS shooter, but aim trainers will never perfectly emulate the mechanics in game, nor will it emulate the player movement perfectly in tracking scenarios too, which is why I recommend putting a lot more time into in game rather than aim training. Even at a mechanical standpoint, you want to learn how to couple your crosshair aim with the mechanics present in game such as spray control movement and so on in addition to correcting slash predicting your aim based on player choice aim trainers do not teach that i do not believe aim trainers are a raw way to improve aim i see them as a buff where you can learn how to aim faster you want me to stream valent or aim labs let's go in okay forget aim, forget aim lips all right what do you work? i don't want to i don't want to talk too much about it but i do work at a factory oh. of some sorts more of more of a managerial uh, role though. Ah uh, yes, yeah, so you're a good employer. I try to be. Yeah, I don't really. I didn't. I, I don't. I'm not really that. Um, that good. You're, you're serious, three, okay? 
That's nice. It's really nice for a beginner. You didn't play CS or something and your C was free. Well, to be honest, my friends kind of carried me. I mean, they, they have this thing called Smurfs where, like, you can play... You know what a Smurf they is? They have other accounts, yeah. They have other accounts, lower, lower accounts, and they can boost you. But, yeah. um, what, what would you like for me to do? Go competitive directly. Yeah. I, I need help finding my sensitivity. I kind of just kept it at default. You do you have a fast one or a slow? I don't know what's fast or slow. Do you know which DPI you have in the mouse program? Quick thing I want to say here, your DPI doesn't really determine if your sense is high or not. It's your sense and your DPI together. He even asked me if I had a high or low sense, and for beginner players, they're not going to know anything at all. Some beginner players in Valorant still think that a DPI of 1 or 2 is still pretty low, so it's not really a question that you should ask for someone who is very new. I had like, I lowered it to 400. You think that's gonna ruin my aim? Because like, I played 800 for for like a while. 800 is a normal DPI. 400 is a nice slow DPI for first person shooter like Valorant and CS. So you, if you want, you can do this. We will see in game. Okay, so the guy didn't really answer my question at all. But when it comes to DPI at an early level, it doesn't really matter what you play. However, it does matter when you have a lot of experience in one DPI, which is why I said I had played 800 DPI for a very a long time at least in my experience if i were to say at least in the ballpark 250 clients who have changed their dpi recently around only 10 or 20 do a lot better on their new dpis it depends case to case but generally i would recommend staying on the dpi you learn to play the game in at least the beginning of you playing sweaty games not those you know casual shooters there are two known effects when it comes to changing your dpi there's a talk about latency which differences between each dpi is very very minimal we're talking about fractions of seconds here and even if you can feel the difference you still have stuff like tick rate ping and many other factors that could play into your aim latency as well but another big one is pixel skipping so even if you were to convert your sensitivity perfectly to each dpi you will notice that the flicking feels very off that is because the higher dpi you go the less pixels you skip the best of the best when it comes to aimers have high amounts of variancy when it comes to their dpis which should suggest that a dpi selection is more of a preference thing rather than something that is so beneficial it's worth switching into such as for example hold opping a lot of old csgo players who used to op on there used to do toggle scope but now switched into hold scope because they realized the benefit of hold scope has brought a lot more utility in comparison to their old muscle memory of quick switching but i think uh holders might be better if i was in his position i would recommend me to switch to my old dpi and convert the sense to see if i do better but there was zero testing so let's move on. Uh, who, who should I play? I would suggest you race, but you don't have it. A little bit advanced for a beginner, but whatever. So what? What? When are we gonna go into gear, stuff like that? Cause um, I only have like an office mouse and like oh, like a okay. Dell mouse pad. I, I don't know what I should uh use. Office mouse and not like a gaming mouse or something. I don't think, I don't think it really matters, does it? But what should I get? Like Razer Moss, maybe Razer, you know, Razer that's not so expensive. Uh, you know, the Death Adder. Yeah. You can get Death Adder. Yeah. yeah. How? Mm. The guy didn't even take any measurements at all. He just threw me a mouse that is rarely even okay for most people on this goddamn planet. And if you think that's bad, it gets a lot worse. Agents you, and Phoenix. Um, I, I don't know. You don't need to buy it uh, now or something. It's not so important. You know, you, you could have just given a... Shoot, you could have just said G203. Now that... Anything would be better than a Dell mouse. Anything would be better than a Dell mouse. Anything can do better than a Dell mouse. You're in gold and plat elo. Why? I don't know. I, I think it's because I'm very good. In um, <laughs> I, I think I think I deserve a, a better rank maybe. In front of you. Damn. Well, what what did I do wrong? Did you like feel like you. I did something wrong there? Like gameplay wise yeah, yeah you push through the smoke see the thing is like my friends say that like i'm kind of like a ninja you know i i i'm like you know i like ninja he he's from like from fortnite so yeah. i don't know how he plays but he's kind of like i'm assuming he like jumps out of smokes or something like that they're in they're in they're pushing 
Oh. Yeah, that's a high elo. Okay, it's not that's, B. You okay. see the map? The ram on the map? Okay. This one, Cypher. Ooh, nice, you caught you. Did I do anything wrong there? Yeah, you are moving your mouse down a lot. Don't move it a lot down. Okay, so I did kind of do that on purpose, but there's another reason why I did that. So it's a very common issue for Valorant players, and even for very high-level Valorant players. So they would aim perfectly on the head, but they would throw that away by trying to pull down before they even shoot. Like, yeah, no duh, you have to control your spray when you shoot. But some people mix up their order on shooting and pulling down. There is a way to train for that, but he didn't pick it up, so let's move on. Do you think mouse pad matters? Because my friends tell me that my, uh, my mouse pad I should change out. Uh, maybe. Oh. Oh, nice. Was that aim? That was nice aim. So, do you think it's worth wor worrying about a mouse pad or not at all? If you want to get really better, so maybe it helps you. Maybe. So it's not really a requirement. Mm -hmm. So mouse pad is important if you want to control your aim, so Perfect and to pad. get it slower. So this guy does not know anything about mouse pads at all. So the reason why no one really uses a typical office mouse pad, except for the all sup water drop mouse pad, which by the way, excellent work, is because office mouse pads were not really built for really aggressive flicks and actions in game. They're cheaply made and widely used for clicking on spreadsheets or whatever cubicle hell you're in. They wear and tear a lot more easily and because of that, different parts of the mouse pad will wear out a lot more than other parts, giving high inconsistencies for certain angles. Gaming mouse pads are typically made thicker and more resistant to any scuffing or wear and tear, preventing such inconsistencies. And they vary from speedy glass woven, and yes, I said glass woven, to slow, highly resistant control mouse pads like the Zowie GSR, which I have. You can break so what's, this what's wall. What's happening? What, what's shooting? You can break this wall. Okay. Shoot it. Yeah, reload. One enemy nice headshot. Reload. Okay. You don't have time anymore. Oh, that's your ult. What the fuck, bro? Okay, you don't have time anymore. You need... Okay, defuse, defuse, defuse. Oh, you're dead. You're dead, Charmaine. Oh, no. Go defuse. Oh, shit! No time. Let's fucking go! Nice try. What happened? Wait, how did I kill him? You did you do this? One... You did the 180 on him. Oh, my God. Did you do that? <laughs> Holy shit. Wait. Oh my god! I've never hit that before in my life! That's also really maybe because of my coaching. Holy sh! Okay, 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 I, I have to calm myself down a little. Okay. Heal yourself, Phoenix? No charges left! How? Press E and then throw the fire on the ground. No, nothing's happening with E. Oh shit, really? you have a different bind. Yo, it, it, the buttons are on the bottom of the screen. We read the okay. what button is. Okay, MB4. You can MB4. hit yourself. Oh. You oh, stay here. Throw it. Throw it under you. Oh, that's oh. the fucking, that's the molly, baby. If you want to heal. Yo, I'm gonna be real with you. The people in this ranked game were actually so chill. And I'm so sorry that I had to kind of throw it for this vid. But I just want to say, whoever was in that ranked game, you guys are fucking absolute chads, bro. Is it better to like... Like, use your wrist or your arm when it comes to aiming. The, only the wrist. Only the wrist. Only. Never move your arms. What? <laughs> okay, so... I... I, I, don't, I feel like I don't have to say anything. Oh! What the fuck? You did... You me meet, 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 meet. I'm, I'm a lot better than you think, man. I mean... I I might I might need to have my sense sense found out because this feels very low. Yeah, that's really good sense. We don't need to change anything. Not even f once did I show this man my sensitivity. Uh, yeah, and then you, you stop and shoot. Right. Okay. But don't move. Don't move when you are shooting. Don't move. Never. Don't do this. Is it like okay sometimes? No, never. Okay, I don't think this guy really played Valorant. Um, ever. Valorant's a lot more forgiving when it comes to moving while shooting, so there's actually some situations where it's way more preferable, especially with SMGs. I'm blind. I'm going back to A. One more. One no, no, no. Ooh, okay, no. It's coming there, it's coming there. Careful. 
Oh! Nice, you got it. And stay in this corner. Just stay in this corner. Okay. Don't stay in front of the door. They can break it and push okay. you. Okay, Careful. okay, okay. Go okay. In the corner. Alright. And wait like this. Aim on head level. Okay. Go. Yeah, and wait. I remember, I, I liked your, I, I, I think, service thing like a very long time ago. I was looking for, I was looking for something to help me out. I remember, I forgot who it was. There was someone there who like copied your thing. Oh, really? Have you, yeah, did you, did you like, I reported what? them for you, but did you, oh, do you think they copied you or, well, well what Maybe. happened? Okay. I don't know. Okay. This piece of What do you think was like the most helpful thing for your aim? Train in the range, kill the bots. Bro, not, not not gonna lie, I was I was so hard to just not laugh and just scream. What? How? I okay. So the range isn't terrible, but. If you were to put hard mode, you can actually remember the positions of where the bots are spawned in, but damn, this guy didn't even say anything. He just said range. You have your ult, you can press Z, and okay. then you can, you can push, push, push. If you die, it's not, it's not a problem. Go push, push. Oh, my, you got him. Oh, oh my god, I'm sorry. I have to calm myself down. That was, that was insane. Oh my god. That was a nice shot. One enemy remaining. Thank you. Last oh my god. Standing. I don't know how I can hit that. Do you have a YouTube channel or something? And yeah, I, I do I do have a YouTube channel, but I've like it's a lot of political stuff. <laughs> okay. I, I'm not I'm not comfortable with that. It was me too, yeah. There. Left. Left, left, left in the corner maybe. Left, yeah. Okay, it's not. Right? Check every corner, right? No. Left? Yeah. <gasps> Okay. You, do you think there was like a different way I could have done that? No. no. But you had to press shift. Okay, so th this guy's explanations are very lazy, but Ron Rainbow Kim did a pretty good video on this. I would suggest checking it out. He has a long history of doing extremely high level CS 1.6. He's a smart guy. The guy is a certified OG for sure. Who's this? You can easily win. Are you <gasps> good? Are you good? Holy sh! It. Oh my you. god, dude! Last season, I was like trying to get. Oh my god! So I downloaded aim laps just in case. But yeah, you can do aim laps like ten minutes, not more. Anything specific in, in aim laps? I did grid shot. I, I know grid shots help very helpful. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, that's that's helpful. No, 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 it's not. No, bro, th this guy's on a streak. Oh my, no, no. So what does this do? Let's swift the scope. If okay. you scroll, but keep it at the same level. So if I put my sense sensitivity to like, like yeah, like over here, I, I put my yeah, scope to the yeah, same. Yeah. Yes. 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 Okay. Well, do, do, do I even have to explain this? Shit? This is a ratio. It's a. It's it's not a separate sensitivity. It's a multiplier for your sensitivity when you scope in. That. <sighs> Uh, All right, I think I think it's time to confront the man himself. Wait, one last question. Yes. Why did you copy off me? What? Which? Why did you copy? You asked me if I had a YouTube channel. You definitely do. Fam are you familiar with my voice? Why did you copy me? What's your YouTube channel? Don't don't bull with me, bro. Dude, there is so much evidence. Your sh is completely like mine. I didn't my God. copy anything. Are you sure about that? Are you sure? Even even the gig titles, e even the description, everything. And I highly doubt, and, and with what you told me, I highly doubt you're like face level 9 or 10. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Why the armor hours? Why'd you put the armor hours? I'm curious. Why, why, no, why not? What does that have to do with aiming? Yeah, a lot. It's a, it's a shooter game. Okay. So, see you, bro. Thanks for the session. Yeah, no problem. Bye-bye.
And again, please do not harass this guy. I think this is already enough. But I will say, please do some research into the coach. At least for aim coaches, look and see if they at least have some video game clip of them just aiming on someone. But yeah, and he also sent me a very colorful um, <laughs> DM here. You just waste one hour of my life and your life, bro. It was not worth it because you failed it. You heard I was talking while the session. So yeah, I already found out that something was wrong from this blah, blah, blah. You notice because I just got a headache on how stupid it was structured. So brother, next time organize it, please. Dude, you're, you're the guy. I'm literally going to your establishment. I, dude, what, what, what? Wendy's lets you go in to cook your own burger. I hope I can help you in some way. If I, if I if I were to take that advice, I'd probably actually go down to gold. It would be so psychological or how to organize yourself or maybe aiming. What a but yeah, if you guys like this video, please leave a like. It really helps out. If you want to see some clips of me, go down to Twitter. I have a lot of my in-game clips from there. Coaching links are also down below. And don't forget, I always read the comments. But if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe.